hey guys, I am constantly telling you to do past papers in your vision, but what should you be doing with them? Now there are three great ways you can use past papers in your revision and all the past papers from every exam board are available really, really easily from the exam board's website. Just googling AQA past papers or LXL past papers, OCR past papers, whichever one you want and you should be able to find it and then fill in the little drop down boxes and then you should be able to get the exam paper you're looking for. Don't forget to get the mark scheme at the same time, it'll just save you going back later and trying to find it then. Now like I said there are three great ways ways you can use past papers in your revision. You can do it topic by topic. So you can watch a few videos, make a few notes on a certain topic and then go and find the exam questions and see if you can answer them. Don't forget to check the mark scheme to make sure you're hitting all the points that the examiners want. There are some standard, some stock four mark questions that come up over and over again and I've got loads of videos explaining what a perfect answer looks like. But the examiners know what they're looking for in an answer. And every single year, the questions that come up have come up before. And the mark scheme is the same that has come up before. So get the questions, get the answers at the same time. The second way you can do it is just to get a paper, sit down and plow through the paper. Any bits that you don't know, just like circle the question in a different colour and this shows you what you don't know. So it shows you which bit you're really confident with and which bits you're not really confident with and then you can go back and fill in all the gaps for the bits that you're not very confident. Again, the mark schemes are going to be great ways to help you out with this because this will tell you what the examiners are looking for. Now the third way is kind of a combination of the two ways. Like I said, the examiners are looking for certain things. So if you have your standard four six mark answer for this question and just learn it. So for example, the structure and properties of diamond there are going to be a good four points that you can write about the structure and properties of diamonds. If this comes up as a four or a six mark answer, answer bam, you should have the answer in the bag. You should be able to write that down really, really easily. So use the mark schemes, use your flashcards to make standard stock answers that you've learnt in your revision. Now the advantage of doing this by learning like a four mark answer means that if it comes up as a one or a two mark answer, well, you already know that answer as well. So three ways that you can use exam papers in your revision. Topic by topic, a whole paper to see what you don't know, see which areas you need to improve on, or by using the mark schemes to repair perfect answers. So there we go guys, don't forget to um, leave me any questions below, I'm here to help you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Hey guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to deal the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, and if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.